Hello everybody, and welcome to Pointless Side Quest Plays XCOM Enemy Within. I'm Nick, and hosting me is John Mark. Hey, John here. And as you can see, we're Nick is be playing, playing this time. XCOM Nick, Enemy Nick, Within. Nick is in. Oh, blah, blah, blah. yeah. Nick, Nick is in the driver's seat for this one. We're playing. We're playing on his uh, brand new PC, actually. It is. It's fantastic. Brand new. I believe it's. It's yeah. It's actually. He now has the better PC than I do, so I have to do... I'm gonna have to, like... I'm gonna have to do something to maintain my alpha male status within the pe within this particular Let's Play pack. Uh, punch in the snout. That usually works. Yeah, that, something like that. So for this one, I'm going to turn off this... Just sneak over, pee, all, pee in your yard when you sleep. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna turn off the standard tutorial, because that gets a couple of my soldiers killed in the first mission. Right. Okay. But I'm also going to turn the meld tutorial on. Okay. Now, before we start, why don't you tell us a little bit, what is, uh, I mean, I'm sure, what is XCOM Enemy Within? So Enemy Within is the expansion to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Um, From Fire Access Games? Yes. Uh, it was, what, like a year and a half after XCOM right. Enemy Unknown came out? Enemy Within... Love... What's that? I lo now, I loved Enemy Unknown. Yeah. And I was a big fan of the original XCOM way back in the 90s. I was pretty pleased with how the new one... I was kind of, I was kind of, you know, suspicious, but I was pretty pleased with how it turned out, so... Yeah. Uh, Enemy Within adds all of the second wave and customization DLC packs, as well as adding um, some new gameplay features. Meld is one of them that allows you to mechanically or genetically enhance soldiers, and we'll learn more about that later. But it also gives us access to a couple more uh, advanced options. So for this one, for this uh, Let's Play, we're going to be playing on normal. Uh, Pussy. I'm sorry. That was that was that was mean. What's that? I I'm sorry for calling you a pussy. Was... <laughs> um. These are the second wave advanced gameplay options. Okay, let's see. The damage roulette makes uh, the weapons either damage more or less. About okay, so equally. More, more randomness. Okay. Let's see. New economy. That randomizes Enemy. the amount of cash that you get from different states. Right, so not created equally. Okay. So it's not like like okay. So it's like so Egypt might in for one game might be the richest country on earth or whatever. Right. Okay. Uh, hidden. These a lot of these actually make the um, game closer to the original XCOM. So hidden potential and training roulette. Hidden mm -hmm. potential gives random stats to rec recruits. Uh, okay. And training roulette uh, is different in that every trooper ha randomly gets skills. So you. Okay. You now, might... now is it still is it skill skills just from their class or no from any class. So really? you, you might get a medic that uh, gets, like, sniper benefits, or a soldier that ha is able to also use um, the rocket launcher. Okay. Save Scum uh, always resets the random number seed. So, whereas, if you say... Ah. If you do one turn and then go back and do the t same turn again, the exact same thing happens every time. Okay, normal. Okay, I see. So Where, you, can, you can change that. Yeah, save scum will randomize every action. And then aiming angles, units receive an aim bonus the closer they are to flanking an enemy, which works, which would, which sounds good, but most of the time it's the aliens out flanking you. So that's just a thing to screw you over. So well, normal. Let's, let's look at those. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Are we, are we going to invoke any of those second wave options? Because some of them look cool. Oh, uh, did you want to? I would... I wasn't planning on it, but we could if we wanted to. Um, hidden potential might be interesting. Get make the soldiers more diverse. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, not created equally has the random starting stats. Hidden potential has the random stat growths. Did you want to do both? Yeah, let's do both. Let's go nuts. Okay. Let's live on the edge. All right. Not created equally. Hidden potential. Uh. We're going to start the game. No, we're not going to do the tutorial because, like I said, that gets soldiers killed. Is it? Is it like the tutorial in just the regular one? Yeah. The regular game? Okay. 
It's good because it gives you an automatically promoted unit, but it's bad because it gets four soldiers killed. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degrees to wield his sword. Buckminster Fuller. I assume that's, that's yeah, that was not in the original XCOM Enemy Unknown. It was not. I, I want to say the, the Enemy Unknown had um, the two possibilities, either we are alone in this Oh, yeah, yeah. Or not. Oh, that's right, okay. I'm sure touching that won't go. Oh, God. <laughs> Ectoplasm! Oh. That guy's in trouble. Extraterrestrial incursion. This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. So that is our Good intro luck, sequence. Commander. Aliens are attacking the Earth for some reason, and we'd rather they didn't. It's as straightforward as any video game story gets. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to identify the base location. That's right. Now each each continent are the each continent now in the, in the base at XCOM enemy unknown. Each continent had its own distinct starting advantage. Are yes. they the same as the, in the original? Yeah. So North America gets air and space. Uh, aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to purchase, build, and maintain. Europe has expert knowledge, laboratories, and workshops less to maintain. Future combat found, uh, in Asia, foundry and officer training school cost 50% less. South America we, is we have ways. Uh, autopsies and interrogations are completed instantly. Africa is all I just in. love that. The... I, I'm sorry, I just... I, I'm sorry. I, I just love the fact that South that South America's special bonus is interrogation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Africa is all in. Uh, monthly XCOM funding increased by thirty percent. Okay. And now, as I recall, once you get the once you get a satellite over every nation on a continent, you also get that continent's bonus. Yes. So there's a few different ways to approach it. Uh, I know um, a popular one is to do Africa first because you get. Uh, you know, the earlier you get the funding bonus, the more money overall you get. Uh, I would, I never do South America just because eventually you you will. I think there's only two or three countries in South America to cover, anyways, and that bonus is like eventually stops being useful. Uh, Asia is pretty useful. Europe's pretty useful. I don't find North America especially useful in the early game, but by the okay. late game, when you have the Firebird and the advanced... Then the, then the airplanes get expensive. And, yeah. Okay. So what, what, what were you thinking? I will defer to your judgment, John. Oh, um... Let's see. What's the Asia bonus? The, all the projects in the Foundry and the Officer Training School cost 50% less. That's good because well, at, at the beginning, the officer at the beginning, that's when gets is what you use to expand your um, squad abilities roster. and your squads. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know. Yeah, future the future combat would be good. Be, be a good one to have early on. Yeah. Um. On the other hand, having more cheaper labs and workshops would be. Although. 
Let's go with let's go with Asia. Okay. And I think by default that puts our base in Japan. For okay. so that's our Operation new Blinding Shroud. Yes. So I love the operation. I love the operate the randomly generated operation names in this. I want to say the first one is actually always Blinding Shroud. There's oh, is it? A, there's okay. a few missions that are always have the same operation name. Okay. So for this one, we don't know what's in the area, so our only ob objectives are to neutralize all hostile targets, locate and secure the canisters for analysis at HQ. My all-time favorite randomly generated one was Operation Brutal Skull. <laughs> that is the most metal mission ever. Alright. Okay. So... Okay. This is the no, is this brand the new... Meld. This is the new meld tutorial? Yeah. So we're going to send this guy over here. It's disabled just in case we ignore it. So over here in the top right, you see this little timer here. In other cases, it'll have a turn timer. Okay, it's just infinite for the tutorial? Yeah. That's how okay. that's how long we have to get to it. Collect it, and we get ten meld, and that's pretty much it. So, is the purpose of the timer is that like to incentivize like a more aggressive approach, basically? Yeah. The only way to get meld in the game is in missions, and the meld okay. will disappear after a while. So you have to play aggressively to get meld, and meld is what you use to genetically or mechanically enhance your soldiers. So there's a okay. good reason to get it. So all these are rookies, and none of these are the names that are going to stay for very long. Yeah, these are all the same. We're going to try and uh, keep these guys alive. I'm declaring this mission not officially not canon. Okay, so when you get close to a meld canister, a small mm -hmm. orange beam will kind of appear briefly. Okay. So, this one, there was a beam just now sending from this direction, so that's the way I'm going to want to go to kind of look for the meld canisters. Oh, oh, it points you to where they are, okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to send him over here. Alien life on Earth. Here we go. Witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Oh, so from where I am, I'm actually too far to trigger this guy um, his oh, that, okay. movement animation, and I'm already mm -hmm. flanking him. So let's see if I can hit him. I have a 55% chance of doing it. Oh, hit him twice. Nice. Damn it. Triggered his movement. Too damn it. Okay, so now that he's moved, I might be able to close in a little bit. Let's see if we can hit him again. Nice. I love the breaking glass in Windows. Alright. Was that a critical? Yeah, critical hit. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. This was one of the kind of it's actually one of the subtly important changes in this game from the original. Hmm. Is that it you know, she mentioned, the, you know, the weapons self-destruct when you kill them and you just get the fragments. Yeah. That wasn't the case in the original XCOM. The, the enemies would drop their... You killed enemies and they would they would, they would would drop their weapons the same way your dead soldiers would drop theirs. Yeah. And so, in the game... In the original game, you never really... You pretty much never need to, needed to build plasma weapons. Because by the time you'd research... You had to research them before you could use them. But then, once you'd use, research them, they already had, you know, a bunch from the enemy. Yeah. So you, you never really needed to build your own. And that was also a, that was also like a potentially, a, you know, a revenue source. You know, when you, you could start selling them on the world market. That, that always intrigued, fascinated me, the idea, that, the fact that in XCOM you can, like, like, I just wonder who's buying some of this stuff. Yeah. The gray, the gray market missions, um, let you sell some excess technology, and they they always have a little tidbit like, this country wants it for this reason, and I don't know if it ever has any effect, 
but like sometimes you can sell weapons to a country that promises they're not going to use it for bad things and then when you <laughs> sell it then they're like yeah you've destabilized peace in this na in this region because you sold them laser weapons <laughs>